Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to modify your parts that are in the Altium 365 cloud library in Altium and then commit them back to the cloud. So go to your panels icon and choose Explorer. The Explorer tab, this menu allows you to access your server components. And let's pull a component that I made something for. And here we've got this S jumper component. Let me go ahead and right click edit. Now in 365, I wasn't able to find a way to directly edit the parts, but I can do that using this Explorer method. And I'm going to choose to add an existing footprint. So I click on existing and then I know the name of my footprint and I would have imported this uh, printed circuit board PCB library into my cloud already. So if I were to paste the name of the, the footprint, it will show up here if it's already in the cloud. So yeah, if you haven't put your footprint name in the cloud, you need to right click on your PCB library and then add it or import it to your Altium 365. Once you've done that though, it will become searchable. Then you would select it, click OK, and then now that's matched to your schematic symbol. Let's say you're not happy with it though. Maybe you need to modify the footprint. So then you would click. You can edit the shared model, right? And then zoom in to the model and go ahead and do whatever you need to do. So maybe you want to place something like a rectangle and then I'm going to hit tab on your keyboard and do it on your top layer etch, right? And then you're making this rectangle that, that does this thing where it makes a connection. But here we don't really need to do that. I would just uh, place it on a PCB, then make the connection through routing. So I'm not even going to do that. Another option would be to modify the schematic symbol. So let's say I want to modify the schematic symbol. And I just got to zoom out there. Oh, well, um, the pin orientation is not the way I want it to be. So there's that. And here on the local level, I can choose to add a footprint or like edit the footprint if it existed. So what I would do actually is add the footprint locally. I can control V. It doesn't show up. Let's hit browse. All right, so if we click on the ellipses here, I'm just going to hit installed, install, look for PCB library, battery schematic and lib, and this PCB library I'll install. I can also import it into my cloud folder just like this, but I already, I already have this, so I'm not going to do that. All right, so then. I'm going to move this up just to make sure we're good. Hit close. And then any name I put in here, I can that within the library I can find it. Now I can just browse through here, choose the S jump of POS, and click OK, then click OK. All right, once you're done editing your server part, you can choose save, right click close, you know, add any parameters you feel like links, data sheets, parameters, part choices, options, simulation, everything. Then right click, you can hit save, right click close, and then make changes to the server. It validates it. Oh, we have a warning here, right? So let's cancel this, fix the violation. It says component type is not specified. Okay. This means we need to go into our advanced settings, use type, then select something like jumper or whatever is appropriate. I'm going to go ahead with miscellaneous for now. And then you, you can choose a template if you want, right? Use the miscellaneous template and then add the rest of these is our ROHS complete. It's just a pad, so I'm not too worried about it. Right click close, save, save to server, it's connected. Then mention the release notes, um, gave this a category. Click OK. It commits category. You know, you can say miscellaneous equals miscellaneous. And so, all right. Then it gets committed to your server. Now I'm going to close Explore. I can go to Panels, use Components, look for S Jumper, and then it's here. 
Okay, so but it's not enough to know how to place new components inside of your server. You need to know how to place them on the schematic, just like I did, right? And make a schematic from scratch. So you want to check the next video in 